Hey, welcome back everyone, Toishas here, and a very happy Friday to you all. Definitely looking forward to a long Mother's Day weekend, and a very happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Just tell them a happy Mother's Day from Toishas, and they'll know what you mean. Wink, wink. Anyways, we got some McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figure news to talk about. Two new releases coming up. And yes, we will be talking all about the pretty pictures that McFarlane Toys has sent over. And these are, again, characters we've seen many releases of. Let's not get too excited. But they seemingly have improved upon one of them. Maybe a little bit of a, a better variant for one of them. And then a costume change for one of them. So, lots to talk about today. And I'll even throw in my thoughts on the new... Superman from that upcoming movie should be good. Fingers crossed, right? That's all we can really hope for is that it's good. That's all that I want. But before we get started, as always, if you want anything in this video as we're talking about it, I'll put affiliate links down in the description below. Now, real quick, I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock. That's it. Let's talk about the new corn sweat Superman. <laughs> the photo itself. Right off the bat, when I saw it, I thought, there is a major disaster happening in the back, and Superman is just slowly putting on his boots. One guy in my comments said it best. He said, I got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> the costume is fine. The cape looks fine. It's a photo. Have no idea what's going on. But all I'm really hoping for, truly, truly, is that it's a great story that leads to a greater universe, and Superman does Superman things instead of being... Whatever that Zack Snyder stuff was. I know. I don't want to hear it. You're not going to convince me otherwise. It's not my thing. I don't even like the Christopher Reeve stuff. Okay? Leave me alone. I'm cool. If you like it, we're cool. It's just all of what we like and such. I like Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. And then The Batman. Everything else between kind of sort of Batman Begins. It doesn't matter. We can talk about this later because we got DC Multiverse news. Anyways... Tim Drake Robin, that's going to be the first new figure for the DC Multiverse line in his updated costume. It's a bit of a change from the 90s costume. In many ways, it's very similar as well. The big highlights are, of course, the extra hands. I do like the head portrait on this one. I think that it looks a lot better than that 90s Tim Drake. He's a lot less armored, a lot more, we'll say, comic book accurate for this particular suit. So in that sense, it looks great, but really... It's the two-tone cape, and it's wired, and it's cloth, and I think that they nailed it. I think that overall, if you're a fan of this Robin costume, which it does look good, don't get me wrong, but it's not the ideal Robin for me. I love that it's Tim Drake, but I like the 90s costume. That's just me. So I already have this, in other words, but if you like it again, you can get the pre-order link down below. Again, number of different hands, and... See, for as many hands as he has, he has nothing to hold, so he's just kind of doing the poses, and it's the usual hands now. It's like thumbs up, finger pointing, outstretched, kind of outstretched, and then item holding, which, yeah, there's nothing to hold. So in that sense, it's like, yay, but then, let, let's, let's leave it this way. If you're a kid, younger, or even whatever age you may be, when you get a figure, you're like, oh, cool. I hope he can do Robin stuff. Well, he's got all the hands to do thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down, outstretched. Nothing to really do with those hands. Doesn't even have the Robin stick or a batarang or grab. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like that. So in that sense, it's kind of a, eh. But in terms of the looks and the cloth cape and everything else, sure, why not? But the big one today, and I'm going to tell you again, if you want this, get it now. Don't go, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for Ross. Don't do that because these aren't going to hit Ross, at least this Batman and Bane. Everybody wants the Bane. They missed out. A lot of people missed out on the first Bane, which I have that Bane. I really do like that Bane, but this is the Nightfall Bane. They finally switched out parts and pieces. I love how they crouched him down as well. I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, it's a, it's a shorter Bane. No, that's a smart tactic, McFarlane Toys. I see what you're doing there. It's the same Bane, it's just swapped out parts and pieces. So he is still that oversized Bane, just FYI. Now, he's got some blue highlights. That's meant to represent the comics, the look, the face mask. That looks cool, straight out of the comics. They've updated the Venom wire to his wrist gauntlet. I think it's a home run. Honestly, the blue 
we'll have to see how it is in hand. That's the only thing where I'm like, mm, yeah, I could have left that off. But otherwise, yeah, looks pretty cool to me. The Batman is done more in that Nightfall style. I like what they're doing here because they've given him the ripped costume. They have that lighter blue that you see in the comic book from which all of this hails from. Yes. It's not gonna exactly scale correctly. He's still a giant Bane. We all know the deal with the DC Multiverse scale at this point. Are they good looking figures? Yes, and I like that Batman is bloodied. I hope that that carries over. Uh, in the McFarlane Toys post today, when they were showing Batman packaged up, it looks like possibly, and that could just be that sample or something like that, but it looks like they had reduced the blood. Hopefully, they keep it going in the final version of which hit stores or comes from online retailers and such. Batman comes with a bunch of extra hands. He's got a batarang. Cool. That's solid cloth cape. Love all that. I think that that's a complete nightfall. He's just battered, beaten, broken Batman. And then you have Bane who finally has fisted hands. So you can do the battered, beaten and broken pummeling for said Batman. Comes with two stands. You get one trading card. You get the idea. It's 70 bucks. A lot of people are gonna go, yeesh, well, $40 mega figure, $20 Batman, and then add 10 bucks for the packaging. <laughs> yeah, that's just how things are going. Again, if you want it, grab it, it looks to be cool. You have the Bane, you got the Batman, then you don't need a Bane or a Batman ever again. You can do his whole break in his back right there on your shelf forever and ever if you so desire. So that'll wrap it up for my quick look at these two brand new DC Multiverse offerings, the Bane and Batman 2-pack and the new Tim Drake Robin, along with the Superman, which, fingers crossed, that movie is good. Please just be good. Don't, don't be weird and, and have Pa Kent telling him not to save him from a twist. Hey, it could have just worked out so easy. What was that? Anyways, that's, that's here nor there. Try watching Rebel Moon. <laughs> so you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. I do have some DC Multiverse figures in hand. And we will start that up again next week. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.